for a very long time i have been an athletics fan and as you know kenya is a powerhouse of athletics from this we have seen the legends like paul tergat Zeke Kimboe, the 3000 meters triple chase king we have seen david rudisha the 800 meters world record holder and a champion the likes of vivian cheriot the late samuel wanjiru and in the recent times we've seen uh, Manuel Wanyonyi, Mary Mwa, Faith Diegon herself, also another record holder in 1500 meters, and many others. You can mention them if you feel like I've left some. And we have been known for the middle and long distance, as I've said. That means we are not popular in the sprints, except for the 2015 world champion in the 400 meters hurdles, the late Nicholas Bett. And I've not mentioned the marathoner himself, Kipchoge. Now, this is about the sprints. We are not known in the sprinting arena. And for this, we have seen the rise of Ferdinand Omanyala, who became known for the 100 meter sprints in the recent times. Now, many of us came to know of Omanyala during the Tokyo Olympics, and that is the Tokyo Olympics trials, that is Olympic trials at Kasarani, and this he managed to clock 10.02 seconds, and that he was able to qualify for the Olympics. Now, he went to Tokyo, entered the heats, became position three, managed to enter the semis, and in the semis, he also became third in a time of 10.00 seconds, but this was not enough for him to qualify for the finals. But we were happy, the Kenyans were happy that at least for the first time, a Kenyan was able to run in the 100 meters and managed to enter the semis in the Olympics. Now, bravo, that was great. And we congratulated him and we were so happy for him, knowing that he was going to improve with time, this being his first time. And after the Olympics, he witnessed a success for himself because he ran his first sub 10 seconds in a meet in Austria, where he clocked 9.96 seconds and later on in the finals, 9.86 seconds. This performance, I believe, gave him a lot of confidence because for a while he claimed or he thought that he was going to break the world record of 9.58 seconds because his time was beginning to go lower and lower. And this was also witnessed in September 2021 at the Kasarani uh, meet that is a World Continental Tour Gold. In this meet, there was the likes of Trevon Brumel, the likes of Justin Gatlin. Justin Gatlin was running his last race before retirement in Nairobi, Kasaran. So, in this meet, the head of state, the then President Uhuru Kenyatta himself was present and Omanyala managed to run 9.77 seconds. Well, Trevon Bromwell won that meet in a time of 9.76 seconds. Now, 9.7 seconds, 9.77 seconds was now the African record. That means, or that meant, that Omanyala was going to be the fastest man in Africa, a title that he holds today. So, that cemented him to be one of the greatest in the sprints because this put him in the top 10 list of all time fastest men on earth. From this moment, we were so hopeful that Omanyala was going for the greater heights. And the next season, now at the World Championships, which were held in US, Oregon. For this, we were hopeful that he was going to clinch a medal in these World Championships. But unfortunately, because of visa issues, he was let. And of course, he experienced some jet lag and because of this, arriving late on the track, of course, must have hampered or must have affected his performance. But we understood because he had a challenge of jet lag and arriving late. And you know, the visa issues and problems, poor organization of this matter. Anyway, the next season was the World Championships in Budapest, 2023 now. So, in this, we knew that the guy has learned a lot in our experience and he is going to better his performance based on his experience that he has had in the last two years. But unfortunately, in uh, Budapest, of course, he managed the hits, he entered the semis, 
And in the finals now, we are so hopeful. But like I said, unfortunately, he became seventh in a time of 10.07, if I got the time right. But he was seventh, and of course that was not well, and uh, many Kenyans were disappointed, because um, with experience, and with him lowering his time, we knew that he was going to improve and at least uh, manage at least top three. And even if not top three, but at least a sub-10 performance. Now, we digested that disappointment and we hoped for the best. In between, he had been running the Diamond Leagues and other meets, and I believe he was performing well. Now, the next season was the 2024 Olympics, Paris Olympics. And to qualify for the Olympics, he had to run the Olympic trials in Kasaran, Nairobi. And he hit a time of 9.79 seconds, which was the fastest of the time, and it became the second fastest of the year. And you know, based on this, it led to speculations that he only runs fast on the Kenyan soil or in Africa. And so he had to prove himself in the Olympics, the 2024 Olympics. But uh, coming to the Olympics, we were so hopeful of him at least getting a medal, be it a bronze, silver, or even gold, if gold goes well. But we knew there was a threat of the likes of Kishen Thompson, um, Oblique Seville, we had the likes of even Tebog of the Botswana, Motswana. We had the likes of Fred Kali, um, Akane Simbine. But he won his hit at a time of 10.08 seconds, which was good. Not much, not pretty good for the time. But at least winning that was good. That means he qualified for the semis. Unfortunately, his journey ended in the semis. With again the same time of 10.08 seconds. And I wondered, what, I mean, we knew he was going to reduce his time and qualify for the finals because he was past, he was past stopping at the semis. We saw also the likes of Andre de Grasse who also was knocked out of the semis, but at least for him, he ran a time of 9.9, uh, .9. he was a sub-10, and I, I think he was also not at his best. But Omanyala was at his best. He was not having or facing injury problems. He was physically fit. And he slowed down in his heat. That means he was going to go faster in the semis and qualify for the finals. But this did not come to pass. And it was a disappointment for the Kenyans because this is the only guy who Kenyans knew as the sprint sensation. He was so hyped. We hyped him a lot, but it did not bear fruit. So, we are looking now into future years. I believe he has uh, collected himself and dusted himself off. But the, and again, to be sincere, the world record time of 9.58 seconds is not going to be broken soon. That's, that's, that's it. That's the truth. And uh, for Manyala, we wish him the best for the coming season. Hoping that maybe, 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 hoping that I'm praying that he brings a medal one time. It's not easy, it's not going to be easy seeing his performance in the global stage. Not being able to manage a sub-10, it's quite disappointing. I have to mention that uh, after the Oregon disappointment, he at least won his first international medal in the Commonwealth Games. And uh, he won Kenya gold in the 100 meters, the first, the first one, the first 100 meter gold medal for the country. The time was 10.01. Not a sub-10, but at least that was a gold. Now, in the international stage, the World Championships and the Olympics, we are still yet to get a medal. Not even gold, just a medal, be it bronze or silver, or gold if possible. We have seen Motswana uh, Litsile Teboho managing the 200 meters gold in the Olympics. And he it was a first for his country and a first for Africa. And we, even the Kenyans, congratulated him a lot. And he has been doing well ever since then. For Omanyala, I think uh, my prediction is that his performances are not going to go now up. Rather, they're going to decline because with the edge, also speed declines. But still, I wish him the best that he's going to get a medal at some point. But I know it's going to be difficult. 
is a glorious what these recent years we've seen because he entered the sprint scene late in his mid 20s and um uh, i don't know maybe a miracle can happen and he's going to get a medal one time soon but ever since that olympic performance most of us were disappointed and now he wins in the diamond leagues he wins in these meets but when it matters the most that is when the disappointment happens so the question is who is going to take over after manyala in the 100 meters who is going to bring kenya a medal in the 100 meters that is the question who is going to be next are there others who are being groomed for the same we are going to see we'll see about that km please don't forget to subscribe